From people at the zoo to animals in the home. For colourful ornaments like these are the latest fashion in, surprisingly enough, pottery. And here at a studio in the heart of London's West End, the animals are born on a potter's wheel worked with the delicate skill of an artist by John Virando. Regular visits to the zoo and museums provide a stream of ideas which are put into practice at the studio. The basic form is created, or thrown as it's called, on the wheel, and its character by simple modelling afterwards. First stage completed, the rough shape is taken off the wheel with one sweep of the potter's cheese wire. Simple? Then try it sometime. And now see if you can guess what this is going to be. We didn't know until John taught us. John's deaf fingers quickly identify the shape for us. By the way, if you haven't guessed, it's a tortoise. Although the keynote to all these designs is simplicity. When the modelling is finished, a process called slip trailing, coating the figure with a liquid clay of their own formula, that's carried out and the model is then kiln-fired for about 24 hours. These stages are in the capable hands of John's partner, Philip Roberts, who also paints the unfinished biscuit ware with coloured glazes. In fact, he seems to spend most of his time with colours, for his spare time hobby happens to be painting. Besides the more orthodox animal design, the studio makes anything from prehistoric monsters to people. But they prefer modelling animals because they give them more scope and they're less likely to be offensive to anybody. After being fired once again for about seven hours, the figures are finished. A vivid tribute to the skill and ingenuity of two artists adding a contemporary touch to an ancient craft.